Hello guys, I'm here and I wanted to come and share with you guys some of my staple products that I use for my hair. I'm always asked what my regimen is, what are some of the things I use on my hair, uh, what are some of the products I use on my hair, how do I get my hair to grow, blah 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 blah. And I wanted to come on here really quick, try not to make this video too long, but I wanted to come on here and share with you some of the very newest um, staple products that I'm using to care for my hair. Um, when I first went natural, my regimen was simply to keep my hair moisturized, to do a deep conditioner maybe every two weeks. It probably should have been a little more. I probably would have seen a little better results. Um, but I would do a deep, deep conditioner, definitely moisturize every single day, moisturize my hair by sectioning every night before going to bed, spritz with water, uh, seal in with some oils or some butters, shea butter namely is what I would use, and um, do a leave-in condition and wrap my hair up for, uh, tie my hair, my twist up for the night. That was my regimen. That still is my regimen that's working for me, but... Lately, within the last week or so, I have added some new products that I wanted to come and share with you guys. Um, I just make it a point that whenever I have found something that's working for me, that's doing wonders for my hair or my skin or me internally, I like to share it so that you can get the benefits as well. may not have the same exact benefits for you, but it will help. And I can promise you guys that I am seeing amazing results with what I've been using in the past couple of weeks. And that's just in the last couple of weeks or so I've been seeing the strength of my hair the fullness the lack of shedding there's less much less shedding that I'm experiencing using just these herbal Ayurvedic uh, products that I've um, come across and I want to share them with you one of the main things that I've been using is henna powder henna powder. Here it is in English on the other side of the box. It is Reshma Henna. It is 100% henna. And guys, you want to get the henna that um, is body art quality. You don't want to go to your local beauty supply store and just get any old henna and put it in your hair. You want to get body art, meaning the art that they use on, that they do the beautiful art on the back of the hand and the arm in India, that type of art, they use henna for that. Uh, some people pronounce it henna, but it's henna, H-E-N-N-A, as you can see on the box. You want to get body art quality henna, and it's going to look something like this. If you can see inside the bag here, it is a greenish powdery substance. That's the quality of henna you want to get. Henna is extraordinary for the growth of the hair and the health of the hair. Um, it is a dye, but over time, when using this powder on your hair, um, you'll notice the, a slight lightening color of your hair, but you can offset that with some of the other herbal products that I have if you don't want your hair to... It, it's not extreme. You'll notice the slight uh, lighter tint to your hair, and you'll only notice it probably out in the sun people will notice that it's a little light, lighter brown than normal. But I don't mind that because of the health benefits of this stuff, guys. you got to get this henna. And I will show you, comment down below if you want me to share with you some of the ways that I make henna tea, henna mask, and uh, henna hair growth oil. Those are the three things that I've been using, and I have noticed amazing results. And like I said earlier, the strength of my hair, um, the length, it's growing, and it's just much 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 stronger and much less shedding so that is a plus for me henna has been used it is used in india it with amazing results as you know the women in india beautiful women with long beautiful hair this is what they use guys they make it into masks oils um or uh, teas, henna teas, and again, if you want me to show you how to do that, just comment down below and I will make a tutorial showing you how I do that. Now, one of the other herbs that I have gotten is called amla oil, or amla powder, I'm sorry, this is amla powder. It is a powder as well. And here is how it looks. It is a light tan. You can see inside, there it is inside. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, if you want to 
offset the um, lightening effect of the henna, you can use the amla powder, which has a darkening effect. Amla powder is also 100% organic, 100% natural, amazing, simply amazing for hair growth. Uh, this is found in India on gooseberry trees. The, the name of is actually gooseberries. You can see the berries there pictured, and it is from the gooseberry tree in India. And it is used for beautiful skin. I will show you also how to do a face mask using Alma powder. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And use these two together. You have a power-packed hair growth treatment for your hair, hair strengthening, uh, strengthening treatment for your hair as well. Again, that's Amla powder, henna powder that I got from my local. Um, you can probably find it at your local health food store. Um, but I got this from my local Indian grocery store, which if people, those of you who live in my area, in the Mobile area, it is off of Old Shell Road, Indian grocery store. And in there, of course, they have all Indian products. And I frequent that store often. And I got these products from there. Guys, trust me. You want to get on a healthy hair journey, hair growth journey. And, and really, the health of your hair is much, much more important than the growth of your hair. But if you're going to go on a, on a hair journey, natural, whether it's natural or relaxed, or you're not even uh, a natural girl, you want to have healthy hair. And using henna has been known to produce wonderful results for the growth and the health and the strength of your hair. If you can see on the side of the box here, it has a couple of things that it does for the hair. I'm not sure if that's showing backwards though because I do have my front facing camera on. So let me just read it to you. Um, the uses are for natural hair. It's a natural hair conditioner. It keeps hair very soft and silky, gives a beautiful golden hue to dark hair, removes dandruff from scalp, and gray, uh, treats premature graying, stops falling hair, and it, it's used as, of course, a decorative dye on the palms of the hands and feet. Uh, what we call the henna decoration and henna dyes. This is the grade and the quality that you want. Don't go get any other type of henna for your hair. It's full with other toxins. You want to get all natural, 100% um, henna and Amla, as I said earlier, the Amla will set off or offset the dyeing effects or the brightening effect of the henna if you want to keep your hair dark. Amla is, as I said earlier, amazing. Gooseberry, amazing for the hair as well. What I do is I make, I mix my Amla and henna powder into a, an oil and I do a growth, a hair growth treatment oil, which here is now I'm at the very last of this but this is a drinking bottle that I had a tea an herbal tea that I like to drink in this and I like the bottle so much until I decided to keep it and I said huh that's gonna be a nice storage for some of my herbal oils which I did so I mixed my henna and my alma powder about a teaspoon in a bowl and I put in I don't have, oh, let's see. I put in another ingredient that I also got from the Indian store, which is very, very good for hair, packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, is fenugreek seeds. This is how they look. They're just loose seeds. Very, very good for the hair. I take my fenugreek seeds, I put them in the bottom of my mixing bowl, to which I'm, I'm boiling uh, water, warm water, I'm gonna make hot water, to pour in and I put in about a teaspoon of amla powder, a teaspoon and a half of my henna powder and I put in some other essential oils if I uh, want to put in my coconut oils or my extra virgin olive oil or my almond oil, I'll put that in as well. And so I pour the water on top of that and I mix my fenugreek seeds, my amla powder and my henna powder together I cover it and let it sit overnight. And what happens with the fenugreek seeds, because of course you can't just put the loose seeds on your hair for, uh, to get the benefits from them. Overnight, when they're steeping in the warm water and the mixture of the henna and the alma, it uh, takes out the uh, beneficial properties uh, overnight. You wanna let it sit for overnight and then the next day, or whenever you're ready to use uh, the henna on your hair, you can strain it. 
as a tea. That's what I do when I use it as a tea. Here's the henna growth tea in my spritz bottle. This, as I was showing you a little earlier, is my henna growth oil. And I'm almost out. You can even see at the very bottom the seeds that have collected on the bottom. You're not going to use the seeds, but over time, all of the good benefits are seeping into your growth oil. And what you do with your growth oil, you can see it's very, very dark green. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very dark green. And what you do maybe uh, two, to, two or three times a week with the growth oil is you take it out and you saturate the roots of your hair all over. You part, you section, and you saturate right at the roots. You can go all over your hair, uh, but it's a little more time consuming, but you really want to concentrate on uh, the roots of your hair. This is with the henna growth oil. And you massage your scalp with the oil on there. And you leave it on for, I would say, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. And then you can wash and do your regular uh, conditioner and your regular moisturizing and then tie your hair up. Some people can leave it on overnight. Once you get used to henna, and once your, uh, you know, your scalp is used to uh, henna, it's very strengthening. If you're doing henna treatments, you may not even need protein treatments in your hair because it's packed full of protein. That's why your hair gets so strong and uh, gets so thick and healthy. So if you're using this, you can leave it on overnight uh, depending on um, the sensitivity uh, of your hair to protein or to strengthening agents. So I can make, I make a... A hair growth oil out of that I can show you how to do it I can literally do it again if you want me to just break it down and do a tutorial on camera about how I mix the ingredients I will do that just comment below or I make my I use this more regularly it's a little easier uh, to uh, apply this is my henna tea same mixture my Alma powder my henna some coconut oil or almond oil, little essential oils like peppermint, put it in my spritz bottle, give it a shake every single day when I'm doing my hair and moisturizing my hair. I section off a piece about like that and I saturate it with my hair tea, comb it through, make sure all of the strands are saturated and I do my twists for the night all over and then I um, tie my head up and I leave that on and over time I've noticed just over the short time I've noticed so many benefits for my hair I know how my hair feels when it's healthy I know how it feels when it's in terrible shape and my hair has been loving this so I wanted to share this with you guys so that you can go out and get this stuff as well as I said before you can get this stuff maybe at your health food store but I go to my local Indian store. Also, I wanted to say about the coconut oils. Um, this is the coconut oil that I've used. You can see it's almost, there's only a little bit at the bottom. This is the Now brand organic uh, virgin coconut oil. You always want to get virgin coconut oil organic. Um, so coconut oil is coconut oil. You want to get a high, a good grade coconut oil. This is an option. And this is from... I got this from um, Virginia's health food store. And as you can see, I'm almost out of that. And coconut is going to come, just in case you don't know, coconut is going to come in a solid type form, but it melts very, very easily once you put it on your hand. Just from the temperature of your hands, it will melt. So coconut oil is very, very good for the hair as well. This coconut oil, I just decided since I was at my Indian store to go ahead and get this brand, the Parachute brand, which is the number one selling brand in India of coconut oil, 100% pure coconut oil. And again, uh, it's in the bottle and um, I do my scalp massages and I make sure that I seal my moisture in with my coconut oils or my shea butter. I also have African shea butter um, or something light. If you want something light, you don't like the heavy oils on your hair, you can use uh, your extra virgin olive oils, your grapeseed oil. I like to use almond oil, sweet almond oil, has a lot of good benefits as well. Now, I spoke earlier about um, the growth of your hair and how important um, it is 
in retaining length, how important henna is in retaining length, and some of the other Ayurvedic herbs. You want to make use of these things. They're very um, inexpensive and you can get them. Everything, I like to tell people, everything that you can use in your kitchen, everything that you can eat in your kitchen, you can consume internally, is can be good for your hair. If it's good for you inside, you can, you can uh, use for the health of your hair. Eggs, milk, coconut milk, very nourishing for the hair. Turmeric powder, coconut oil, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar. I don't have my apple cider vinegar in here, but I use the Bragg's brand apple cider vinegar. You want to make sure, don't go and get Heinz apple cider vinegar or some grocery store type vinegar. Matter of fact, they may even have the Bragg's brand in the grocery store, but you want to get Bragg. That's the brand. I think it's B-A-R-G-G. That's the brand of coconut of um, apple cider vinegar that you want to get with the mother in the bottom. And what that means, you'll see, if you look up uh, beneath the bottle, you'll see this sludge in the bottle of apple cider vinegar. That's all of the good stuff. And you usually have to shake it up before you use it. Apple cider vinegar. I also take, um, drink apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach every morning. Uh, weight loss, detoxification, but that's another story, but it's great for that. And I'll share that with you as well. But for the hair, for the hair, apple cider vinegar is awesome. I do apple cider vinegar rinses on my hair at least uh, once a month to get all of the buildup. Because as you know, as a natural, you're constantly slathering your hair to keep it moisturized with oils and butters and moisturizers and conditioners and all of this other stuff. Well, over time that builds up and uh, you want to do a cleansing rinse um, at least once a month and that's what I use my apple cider vinegar for. And so another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, if you are experiencing any hair loss, any baldness or hair loss, I'm trying to situate this phone so it won't fall. Okay, there you go. If you're experiencing any type of hair loss, any type of thinning, I know I have experienced thinning around the edges from years of wearing my hair in buns and wearing it in tight uh, buns that cause tension on the edges. If you're experiencing that, guys, what is this you ask? Ginger root, ginger root. Awesome, 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 awesome. I use it in my household for when we have colds and guys in my household, we may have a cold maybe once a year, if if even in the year. And then it's only like a few sniffles. I make ginger root tea. I put in turmeric and it knocks it out and it prevents colds and flus and stuff like that. So this is ginger root tea. I mean, ginger root, you can make a tea off of it. And what you want to do for bald spots, for thinning, Guys, I'm telling you, you rub this stuff in your scalp and you will start to see new hairs growing within the week. I'm not even exaggerating. Seriously. This, I mean, the women in India use it when they have ball spots or patches or whatever they, you use this. You can cut it up into, dice it up and then extract the juice from it and rub it on your scalp. Or if I've broken off a little piece here and you expose the inside of it and you can take it and wherever your ball spot is or your thinning is, you just rub it. Just rub it on that area. And you want to do that a couple of times a week and you'll start to notice growth. It has those properties in it. Ginger root. You can get this at Walmart, your grocery store, or wherever. Invest, guys. You're on a healthy hair journey and you can make it happen. Also, I use peppermint oil. This is an essential oil. I love peppermint oil, and I must do scalp massages with this, but I, you want to dilute peppermint oil with something else because it's very strong and tingly. And when you massage your scalp or put some type of oil on your scalp, it gets the blood circulating. And wherever there's blood flow, there's oxygenated blood flow. You're going to get growth. You're going to get health. You're going to get healing. You're going to get all of that. So invest in your essential oils and go again and get your henna, your amla powders, and I will show you how to make all of those things. Castor oil is another thing for hair growth. That's awesome for hair growth. I have used black uh, Jamaican black castor oil. I'm, I'm all out, but castor oil is castor oil. You can use this brand. Massage your scalp. You can see hair growth in no time. Guys, I'm sharing all this stuff with you because it's been working amazing for me. So 
those are the things I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions, put your questions down below. Also, if you want me to do these tutorials on how I make these herbal things for my hair, for my skin, to take internally, just let me know and I'll be glad to share them with you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support on my Facebook uh, page, Natural Hair page. Invite your friends, share the page, and also subscribe to me on my new Natural Hair YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.